Thank you, Zoe, for coming all the way to Israel. We're so thrilled you're here. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's a real honor for me, real pleasure. Well, we are, um, you know, we're always so afraid when we tell patients to eat saturated fat, the patients are in shock. Okay. And I think you are the, the address. We can really ask you what is the data here. Should, okay. should we be afraid or should we not be afraid of saturated fat? What is your feeling on this? We absolutely should not be afraid of saturated fat. So let's go through some facts about fat that not many people know. So the first most important fact about fat is that every single food that contains fat contains all three fats, saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated. And dietitians don't seem to know that because they seem to think you can avoid saturated fat and then eat polyunsaturated fat, which for some reason they think is better than saturated and it isn't, the evidence isn't there. The second interesting thing about fat is that I have only found one food that doesn't contain fat and that's sucrose. And that's arguably not a food because it has no nutritional value. So next time you get some blueberries, if there's some information on the side of the packet or maybe even tomatoes, there's some fat. There's a trace of fat in almost every food. Sure, you've got foods that have got a lot of fat, like olive oil is obviously 100% fat. But again, because of that first rule about fats, come to olive oil and it's about 74% monounsaturated, but it's about 14% saturated fat. And so people don't, and it's also got the, the rest is polyunsaturated fat. So all food contains at least a trace of fat other than sucrose. Every time you see fat, you're gonna get all three fats. Mm. The third interesting fact about fat is that the only food group that has more saturated than unsaturated fat is dairy products. Mm. So people say meat is full of saturated fat. It's not, it's more full of unsaturated fat. And then they say eggs are full of saturated fat. They're not, it's more unsaturated fat. So not that it's bad for you, but they don't even get right where you find the fat. So I put a card up at conferences and then I run through what, for example, steak is, red mm -hmm. meat. So I'll say, take a typical steak before you've cooked it, 71% water. Most real food is mostly water. Then it's 21% protein. Then there's about 1%, which is ash and minerals. Then you've got 7% fat. Of those seven points of fat, two are saturated and the rest are unsaturated. So saturated fat is literally the last thing that steak is. And they'll say, don't eat steak because it's full of saturated fat. So and then the same goes for eggs and then the same goes for fish. And okay, dairy has more saturated than unsaturated fat, but the total fat of full fat milk is three and a half percent. But should we so, be afraid of it even? You know, so what? Well, so so um, why would nature, God, wherever you believe your food comes from, why would all that fat be put in food with the purpose of killing us? Right, why, especially babies Why, in why milk. would that, have, yeah, and, and breast right. milk is, is, is very high in saturated fat. Why would that happen if this stuff was trying to kill us? And if they're saying unsaturated fat is good, but saturated fat is bad, no. So you're trying to tell me in the steak, we've got 7% fat. You're telling me 5% is trying to save my life and 2% is trying to kill me. And in dairy products, maybe it's 60% versus 40% or whatever of the bit that's fat. And remember, that's only 3.5%. So you're trying to tell me 2% is trying to kill me with dairy and 1.5% is trying to save me. It's just the other way around from the state. Are you insane? <laughs> oh, seriously, are you insane that you think that was put in food to kill you and save you at the same time? And then you realise that all the foods, all the, the natural real foods, contain all the vitamins and minerals that we need for optimal health. So you go to those animal foods, meat, fish, eggs, and dairy, and they contain complete protein. They contain the essential amino acids that we need, they contain the essential fats, and in the form that we need them. They contain the vitamins and in the form that we need them, and the minerals in the form that we need them. So seriously, seriously, again, you're now trying to tell me that not only did they put all the fats in, saturated, unsaturated, they put the right protein in, they put the essential fats, they put in the vitamins and the minerals, and still there's this saturated fat bit that's trying to kill us. I mean, how stupid do you have to be to believe that? I cannot believe that anyone who understands what food is made up of actually thinks that some part of it has been put in there to give us heart disease, right. and we've been eating it for three and a half million years. Well, I guess we know that what people think is is the, the data that people gather is quite um, misunderstood or misrepresented by media, journals, et cetera. So it's, it's actually very difficult 
for uh, people to even know this, right? To come into contact. This is what, yeah, why your work is so important. Well, I, I go to dinner parties, let's say. So I will be at a dinner party. And before people know what you do, I've had a young couple in their 20s tell me that cholesterol is bad for me, you should be aware of your cholesterol, dietary fat is bad for you, saturated fat is bad for you. And most of the time I'll just smile. And then every now and again you want to say, do you know what I do? Do you know what my <laughs> PhD is in? But it's still the case that if you stop 100 people in any city, whether it's Tel Aviv or London or New York, the majority of people will think fat is bad, saturated fat is bad, cholesterol is bad, whole grains are good, you need to eat fiber. The marketing that has been done on the dietary message is fantastic. Yeah. I have to admire the work that the, the pharmaceutical companies have done on making us scared of cholesterol, the work that the cereal companies have done making us think that cereal is better for us than eggs, the idea that fruit is seen as better than meat, and fruit is just sugar with a couple of nutrients, not so many that you'd ever think. The marketing has been fantastic. You've got to admire You've it. You've got to admire it. Yeah, yes. but it's just so wrong. It got us kind of sick. It got us really sick. Yes. Fat and sick. Fat and sick. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's okay, thank my you. pleasure. Thank you again for inviting me to Israel, the land of lots of dairy and honey. Eat <laughs> and the dairy, honey. don't eat the honey.